In this example, we will look at using Gaussian elimination to try to solve a system of equations where there is actually no solution. Let's have a look at this. So here are our equations. a plus b minus c equals 2, 2a plus 3b minus c equals 0, and 3a plus 4b minus 2c equals 1. So, as usual with Gaussian elimination, the first step is to set up an augmented matrix with the coefficients of the unknowns on the left, so 1a plus 1b minus 1c, and then the constants on the right, so 2. Similarly, in the next line it was 2a plus 3b minus 1c equals 0, 3a plus 4b minus 2c equals 1 and we need to perform row operations so that we end up with an upper triangular matrix where in this case all of these elements here we need to make those zero. So first of all looking at row 2, row 2 minus 2 row 1 will give us the correct form so row 1 itself just stays the same and we'll then write that row operation R2 minus 2 R1 over here. So 2 minus 2 times 1 is 0, 3 minus 2 times 1 is 1, negative 1 minus 2 times negative 1 is 1, 0 minus 2 times 2 is negative 4. The next one, row 3, we have a 3. Again, we can use a multiple of row 1 here, so that will be row 3 minus 3 row 1 to get a 0 here as a result of getting 3 minus 3 times 1. The next one will then become 4 minus 3 times 1 is 1, negative 2 minus 3 times negative 1 is 1, 1 minus 3 times 2 is negative 5. So we still need to get a 0 in here to get the correct form. And so to do that, the first two rows are rewritten as they now do not change. And the final row. Remember that here, if we used a multiple of row 1, that would not work because then we would no longer have a 0 there. So here we need to add or subtract an appropriate multiple of row 2. And we have a 1 here in both row 3 and row 2, so that will just be row 3 minus row 2 giving 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, negative 5 minus negative 4 is negative 1. So this then is our final tableau in this case. So let's write out the resulting equations from this final tableau. The first one, a plus b minus c equals 2, remembering that these columns here represent coefficients of a, b and c. The next one, b plus c equals negative 4, so far so good. Now look at the last row, 0a plus 0b plus 0c equals negative 1. In other words, 0 equals negative 1. Does it? Of course not. That is a nonsense statement. So because we have come up with a nonsensical statement, it actually means that the system of equations have no consistent solution. So in a case like this, when we find that we get a contradiction in one of our answers, it means there are no solutions. And if we looked even at the second last stage of our Gaussian elimination, even then it was looking a bit ominous in hindsight, because if you look at this tableau here, the second row is saying b plus c equals negative 4. The third row is saying b plus c equals negative 5. So even there we could see there's a problem. So this is an example of what happens when there's no solution to the system of equations. And often this means that you actually have three planes visually when you have three equations in three unknowns where they're actually intersecting in pairs where those lines of intersection are parallel so that they never meet at a common point or line. And it can also sometimes happen if two or three of the planes are parallel. 